Riley. J Rock has come back to you too. You too. Uh, yes. Hello. My name is uh, Jason Christopher, and I am here uh, because I would like to discuss. Uh, we are here with J Rock, the Great One, to discuss um, Ghostbusters Afterlife, and J Rock is. J-Rock fans come back to you too. Oh, that's right, baby. J-Rock is here. The most electrifying YouTuber in all of youtube tain Myth. Here for J-Rock likes to call his for Ghostbusters Afterlife. Oh, that's right, baby. We are going to talk about what J-Rock thought was better the movie or the trait uh, yes j rock thank you very much um if you don't mind would you mind telling the, the people at, at home and the millions of your fans watching exactly what a movie versus trailer review is well jabroni j rock says this for those of you who do not know what a movie versus trailer review is quite simply put it is the most electrifying movie review in all of youtube tain met j rock says this he has seen trailers for movies that has got the great one amped pumped hyped ready to watch only to be let all the way down and say to himself j rock the damn trailer was better than the damn movie put all the best parts of the movie in the trailer some of the things in the trailer didn't even make it to the damn movie and so j rock decides instead of just going into a rant of what he liked and didn't like about the movie he was just going to simply analyze the trailer compare it to the movie to figure out what made it in what didn't make it what was in what was happening is there any slick editing going on that they're trying to trick us with to make us think something's going on in the movie that's actually not so jabroni j-rock says this know your role shut your mouth and let's get to the damn trailer okay uh, sure 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 thing uh we will get right to it let let's get right to the let's get right to it and let's take a look at the trailer you're a great mom i don't know i'm fine with trevor but with phoebe she really keeps me on the outside. Uh, J Rock, there is is there anything you'd like to discuss about what's going on in, 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 in the in the trailer here? Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, there is something that J Rock wants to talk about. He wants to let you know exactly who are these two Rudy Poos. J Rock says this Jabroni's name, I I don't remember what his name is. That is correct. It does not matter what his name is. <laughs> And 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 the, and the woman, whatever her name, whatever her name is, it doesn't matter what her name was. But the fact of the matter is, is that the woman, she is Egon's daughter, okay. And and this jabroni, all right, he is some Rudy Pooh from out of town, all right, coming in as a substitute teacher doing, I guess, summer school or whatever, not. And he happens to meet her, and this is them going out on some little shindig, and him trying to get in the people's, or in her, in her pants, I guess you can say. All right? So that's what's going on at the trailer at this point, Jabroni. Let's keep going. Oh, okay. Well, we, we'll keep, we'll keep right moving. Thank you. That's normal. She's an awkward, nerdy kid. Maybe a new home could be an opportunity to start fresh. I just wish you'd get into some trouble. There's still time. Yeah, press pause, Jabroni. Um, you 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 wanted to to discuss exactly what what's going on right here. Yeah, Jabroni J Rock says this. Um, what's happening right now is at this point in the movie, the family has moved out to Egon's old home because Egon was having these thoughts, this this these feelings of fear and trepidation that something was coming. Something was coming. 
And, and, and what happens is that Egon, just up in the middle of the night, just took everything that the Ghostbusters had. And he went out to this isolated place and he started, you know, preparing for, I guess you can say, the second coming. Well, the second coming of who? Well, J-Rock says, keep watching and you'll find out who. But the fact of the matter is that his family was broke, destitute, had nowhere to go, had just been evicted from their place. And now they have this place to go to. And so he meets up with this young girl. He gets a job, meets some new friends and all that stuff. You know, things that happens when you move to a new place. And so at this point of the trailer, or in the movie rather, that's what's going on. Keep going, Jabroni. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. And um, we'll we'll keep we'll keep moving forward. You just you just let me know when. Brooke and our grandfather left us this creepy old farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. Your father wasn't much of a homemaker. He could hardly stop it right there, Jabroni. Yes. 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 Oh, I think you know exactly, for those of you who are fans of the franchise, you know who exactly who this is. Hey, you, Jabroni, do you know who this is? Well, actually, I wanted to say that... It, it doesn't matter who it is, Jabroni. The fact of the matter is, is that everybody and their mama know exactly who this is. This is the one and only Janine. Worked at the front desk, took the calls for the Ghostbusters, rang the bell when the call came in to let them know there was a spook specter or ghost on the loose. And apparently she moved out there. Looks like she may have moved out there with Egon. It doesn't matter. Dayrock don't know. But there she is, making a cameo, if you will. She wasn't in the movie very much, though. In fact, that was the only time she was in the movie. Keep going, Jabroni. It's the only one that had an engine. What is happening here? Stop it right there, Jabroni. Uh, yes, so yes, right here. Uh, feel free, go ahead to, to, to let us know what, what's happening here. Yeah, so at this point in the movie, the little girl, Egon's granddaughter, the chick, the little girl with the glasses, just like your candy ass is wearing right now. All right, not, none like these electrifying sunglasses that the great one is wearing himself. But with that being said, J-Rock says, what's happening right now is that the young lady found the trap, the ghost trap. And for some reason, they couldn't figure out how to work it. So her and the substitute teacher, Rudy Pooh Candy Ass Jabroni, decided that, that the thing needed some juice, it needed some power. So they took it and they hooked it up to a car battery. All right. And they figured out how to open it. Well, J-Rock says this. What they didn't realize is that they were opening Proverbial's Pandora's box. And out popped the ghost that went down into the mines. And it started rumbling and a tumbling. And that's what's causing all of the shaking that they were experiencing. All right. Now, J-Rock says, keep it moving, Jabroni. Okay. Stop it right there, Jabroni. Okay, um, yes, you wanted to discuss that part also? Yeah, so they let the, the ghost out of the box, went down into the mines. That very ghost is what they just saw come shooting up out of the sky. But it didn't come alone, Jabroni. No, 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 no. Oh, it got some, brought some friends with them, and then all hell broke loose all over this damn city. All right, we'll, we'll keep right along. Thank you. Maybe it's the apocalypse. Egon came out here for a reason. Are you troubled by strange noises in the middle of the night? Do you experience feelings of dread in your basement or attic? Have you or any of your family ever seen a spook, specter, or ghost? Oh, my gosh. Stop it right there. Uh, yeah, so right here you can take it away so at this point of the movie if you it was a little callback if you will to the very first ghostbusters you guys remember the mother and the substitute teacher that j-rock was talking about at the beginning of the movie well those two jabroni and rudy poo and rudy pooette 
were very important to what was happening in this part of the movie. Because if you guys recall, back in the first Ghostbusters, there was the key maker, or the key master, rather, and the gatekeeper. One was in the form of a man, one was in the form of a woman that were being chased by these dogs or these beast-looking creatures. And so these two came together, if you smell what J-Rock is cooking, and they came together and they opened the gate for the second coming of, that's right, Dozier. Dozier, the he-she came back into the people's world. And, well... You can just imagine what happened at that point. Keep going, Jabroni. Oh, okay, absolutely. We'll we'll keep right on going. You guys hear that? Something's coming. A whole city took the Walking Dead. Okay, all right. Um, J-Rock, you, if, if you want to just give us your take on, on the movie and, you know, which one you thought was better, the, the, the movie or the, or, or the trailer. Well, J-Rock says this. As it pertains to the movie itself, after watching it, J-Rock has to be completely honest. There was a callback at the end of the movie, little bright spot, if you will, in this movie, where they got Ray, Bankman, Winston, and a little special visit from the ghost of Christmas past. No jabroni, j ain't talking about the Scrooge. He is talking about none other than Egon himself. The young lady who had the uh, proton pack on her back, Egon's granddaughter, got a little bit too much to handle for her. And so the ghost of Egon appeared out of nowhere, giving her the aid she needed to help Ghostbusters reunited one more time and it felt so good to take down Dozier one last time. And so J-Rock says this, which one did he think was better, the movie or the trailer? Well, when J-Rock saw the trailer, to be perfectly honest, J-Rock wasn't blown away by the trailer. Oh yeah, okay, they got a new Ghostbusters movie. J-Rock is gonna check it out. J-Rock saw the last Ghostbusters movie because he's a fan of the series. Didn't too much care for it, to be perfectly honest with you. But nonetheless, he saw it. So at one time, that was in, hadn't seen it again. Probably most likely would be the same thing with this one. So at once, won't see it again. And so which one J-Rock thought was better? J-Rock got to be perfectly honest with you. Neither one really impressed the great one, to be perfectly honest with you. But if I had to pick one, I would say the movie was slightly better than the trailer. There were some parts in the movie that they didn't put in the trailer that were very, very good. A lot of callbacks, a lot of reminiscing taking us all the way back, way back, back into time. And so that was J-Rock's opinion on what he thought was better, the movie or the trailer. In this case, the movie was a little bit better. The, the, the movie. Okay, folks, so thank you so much for joining us. That, that'll that conclude today's uh, interview with J-Rock. Know your role and shut your mouth. We don't end it like that. We're going to end it the way J-Rock wants to end it. First and foremost, for the millions of J-Rock fans out there watching, J-Rock wants to know what you thought. J-Rock appreciates those of you who have gone on the People's Poll and voted which one you thought was better, the movie or the trailer. All right? Now, it's your turn. In the comments section, let J-Rock know which one you thought was better and why. Did you think the trailer was better than the movie? Did the, li did the movie live up to the expectations set by the trailer? Or did it fall short? You post in the comments below and let J-Rock know which one you thought was better, all right? Also, post your comments below and let J-Rock know what you thought about his movie versus trailer review. J-Rock switched it up a little bit this time, had some candy ass jabroni, don't know what his name is because it doesn't matter what his name is. Interviewing the great one about what he thought was better, the movie or the trailer review. Also, make sure to hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. If you enjoyed this great one's movie versus trailer review, 
hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Until next time. Oh, by the way, next movie versus trailer review, Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda forever. In the smell! Ow! J-Rock! E! Cook it.